Hello, this is Marcel and today I want to show you how to use Ornatrix styling tools in conjunction with Maya's paint effects hair to achieve some pretty neat results for creating hair for your character. So I will start off with this neat little model here which was graciously provided to us by Sergey Krikalev and I will just select the scalp of this character to add hair to it. Once I select the scalp, inside the Ornatrix shelf button I will use the quick hair button to create some initial spiky looking hair and by default it's just going to stick out in all directions. To use Maya's paint effects hair we don't need to have Ornatrix hair and we will instead use Ornatrix guides and convert them directly into the paint effects hair clumps. So let me just get rid of my hair generation which will include both the render settings node and the hair from guides node from the hair stack and all I'm left with are the guides. So if I select these guides and go into my guides from mesh operator I can change things like the length of these guides and I can set the point count in this guide. So maybe I will change the point count to a larger value like 15 or 20 and I will also remove all randomness and we can change the settings later if needed. One important parameter to set at start is the number of the guides that we're going to use. Maybe I will slightly decrease it to 250. Next I will add a couple of operators. First one is going to be edit guides operator and then on top of it I'll just throw a hair length operator. Operator. So in the edit guides operator I will go in and select a brushing mode and I will just quickly cut my hair so that we have a length that is slightly more interesting and defines the hair shape that we're looking for. So I'm just going to click and drag to cut some of these hairs and maybe he's going to have shorter hairs at the back and slightly longer hairs toward the middle and I'm just also going to cut the hairs at the side of this character to make them slightly shorter. So now I'm just going to go into my control point editing mode and select all of my strands and I'm going to drag them back to pull them down like gravity would for example and I might just select some of these few other ones and pull them back even more. And one of the problems we see right now is that we have created a situation where the guides are penetrating the character's scalp. With Ornatrix it is relatively easy to fix. So all I need to do is get my hairstyle approximately to how I want it to be. And then I will select all of my guides and I will use the push away from mesh button. And what this will do is it will get all of these guides out of my character's scalp so we can continue working with it and it will not penetrate our character's head. So I'm just going to go back and switch into the brushing mode and I'm going to just brush some of these hairs since they were crumbled a bit. And as I do this, I can keep pressing the push away from mesh button and it's going to continue pushing it away. I might decrease the strength of my brush a little bit so the changes that we'll make are a little bit more subtle. And one other thing I can do is I can actually go and hide some of these hairs while we're brushing. So if I'm brushing on this side, I can select these hairs and use the hide button to hide all the other hairs. I can also freeze the hairs, but hiding will also stop displaying them, whereas freezing will just make them non-selectable. So once I hide my hairs, I can go and brush the remaining hairs some more and define some kind of hairstyle. If the hairs are still not completely outside of my mesh as I want to, I can increase the push away distance, maybe set it to one, and it is going to push the hairs out even further. So when I'm relatively happy with the results, I'm going to unhide all of my hairs. Let's see how we can now convert these hairs into Maya's paint effects hairs and use the tools that are available in Maya natively in conjunction with whatever Ornatrix already offers us. I'm just going to select my guide's shape. I'm going to right click and hold my mouse button down. And so this is something we haven't covered before, but from here you can also add Ornatrix operators or you can even go into the selection modes of Ornatrix. For example, I can go into my strand mode straight from here and continue working on my strands. But one other thing I can do is right click and drag and select the convert to Maya hair option. When I do that, Ornatrix is going to set up paint effects hair directly from these guides. If I now look in my outliner, I can see that we have created a whole bunch of curves and then we have follicles that are created from each one of these curves and then we also have the paint effects hair node. If I click on this node, it's going to be selected in my attribute editor and here I can go to the hair system shape tab and adjust all kinds of things about paint effects hair. So for example, for each of these clumps, I can make it thicker by changing the clump width, I can change the hair width, 
I can twist the clumps a little bit. So these are behaving a lot like clusters do in Ornatrix. And parameters like thinning also allow us to define and control the style of the hair that we have. The great thing about starting to do this with Ornatrix though is that now we can select our guides and we can go back into Ornatrix and we still have all of the operators and non-destructive editing capabilities that we had before. So in my hair stock of Ornatrix, I can still go and change my hair length and it will adjust my paint effects hair as I do it. And I will just select my background here and template it so it doesn't get in the way of selections. So now if I go into the edit guide shape and I select the control points, I can continue working with my Edit Guides modifier and I can use my brushes or anything else really and still define the style of my hair. And what makes this even more powerful is that I can go and actually insert new operators into my stack to define my parametric hairstyle while retaining this paint effects hair connection. So I can, for example, add a new curling operator and continue to change its parameters to see how it defines the paint effects hairstyle. And I can even go back into my guides from Mesh node that we have set up initially and and change the point count of hairs to add or remove details. So I have set it initially to 15, but I can change it to 20 and it will update my hair interactively in real time. So once I have set up and defined the style of my hair, I am ready to render it out. I'm using V-Ray for this scene. I'm going to select my render dialog and hit render to see my results. This has been a quick exploration of using Maya's paint effects hair along with Ornatrix styling tools to create some interesting and non-destructive haircuts. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.